This is America's tallest man. Standing at seven foot eight, we're gonna see what it's like for him to live in Tokyo, Japan, one of the most populated cities in the entire world. Which means everything is really small here. From the world's smallest apartment to the world's tiniest mall, we're really gonna push his height to the limit. Brandon, what's your seat number? 24C. Dude, I feel bad for whoever's next to Brandon. Drew! Bro, dude. <laughs> What? What's your C number? 24B. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I get a C change? Looks like yours <laughs> down. <laughs> what? Damn it! I'm taking all your leg room, dude. Oh, I'm not gonna have any room. As we boarded the plane, it was like Brandon was a celebrity. People were staring, asking for pictures, and we even met the flight crew. A regular seat was too small for him, so they had to give him an entire row. Being Brandon's height comes with many struggles. The condition he was born with caused his bones to grow incredibly large, making it extremely hard to travel. All right, so we finally made it to Japan. Let's get some sushi. Wait, before we get sushi, where's Dom? Bro, we lost him at the I airport. Have no idea. Yeah. I haven't seen him. Okay, all right, anyways, Drew, you were in charge of the hotel. Did you get it? I got what I could get. What is? What does that mean? I, uh, we have a place to stay. That's all that matters. Why does he not sound confident? I don't know. Why don't you sound confident? What are you uh, talking about? We are. We're sleeping somewhere. We're fine. I think something's up with that. <laughs> oh, so how are we going to get there? Uh, taxi? He's not going to fit in a taxi. What else are we going to do? Let's try. Taxi? Oh, God. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> all right, we got ourselves a taxi. Ooh, moment of truth. Will Brennan fit? We'll see. Okay, it's not looking good, folks. <laughs> I don't know if we can shut the door like this. No, I don't think the door's gonna shut. Okay, we have to think of another option. Yeah, because we can't fit the luggage, we can't fit ourselves, so uh, we strap him to the roof. <laughs> Are you crazy? What is, what, that's the only option. Not in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo, Japan is known for their crowded, confusing, and low roof subway systems. What made it even worse was Drew being a terrible guy. All right, so the only way to get to our hotel is through Metro. So I have the map and we're gonna have to take a train there. Drew, this map is in Japanese. Yeah, I- uh, Do you speak I, Japanese? I thought that maybe one of you guys could. Oh, I think, I think Brendan does. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> and it wasn't long until Drew and Pearson started arguing. The hotel is over here. Wait, you have no Listen. idea. Guys, have guys, 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 stop fighting. What are you fighting about? Well, he doesn't know where he's going. Pearson doesn't know anything, all right? She's just doubting me, like, always. Oh, I'd be surprised if we have a roof over our head tonight. <laughs> Brendan believes in me. I'm just here for the trip. I'm following you guys. <laughs> he literally has to duck the entire time. Bro, everything in Tokyo is so small. We're almost there. He is literally a celebrity here. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Everyone wants pictures with you. How's it feel to be not noticed? Yeah, no one's asking me for pictures. It's all you. You're pulling more than you are. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take this to the hotel and then we'll be good. So we finally got on a train, but we still didn't know if this was the right train. We're on our way to the hotel. I'm surprised we actually made it into the train. Dude, me too. We have found ourselves outside. Now we just have to find the hotel. I'm looking, I'm, I'm trying to read the signs, but I can't read them. I think we just pick a direction and go. Um, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> and to our surprise, we were lost once again. Drew, I think we're lost. We're not, no, we're literally right here. Bro, we're going in circles. It says we're on top of it. I don't know. Drew, this don't is... even pretend like you're reading that map. You can't read Japanese. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, all right? It literally says we're on top of it, so I don't know. Oh, oh God. Wait, Dom? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Where were you? Apparently, in Japan, when people get lonely, you can rent a girlfriend. So meet Yokiko. How did you even find out that you could do that? <laughs> um, I'm kind of lonely. Oh. Wow. That explains Dom. <laughs> I, I mean, who knows? Maybe we could fall in love. No, you do. You're not gonna fall in love with you. You don't know that, bro. Okay, well, we're lost. We can't even find our hotel. You have a map. No, it's all in Japanese, and Drew can't read it. We've been lost for two hours. Oh, well, she can help. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah, she speaks Japanese. This way. It's oh, this way. Oh, yeah. this, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, she doubles as a girlfriend and a tour guide. Oh. <laughs> everyone, and I mean everyone, was looking and taking photos of Brendan here. He was Japan's newest celebrity. Have you seen Brendan anywhere? No, I have not, but um... Oh, there he is. Look at it. You can see him sticking out over the crowd. Brendan, right here. Everyone is staring at Brendan. It feels like I'm walking with Justin Bieber. <laughs> with how many people are looking at us no. right now? Are you Justin Bieber? <laughs> These are rainbow grilled cheeses. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. so oh my god. Hey. Talk about tasting the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and after Brendan took some more photos, we finally made it to the hotel. Yes, so um, each room was 20 bucks, and that means that we all get our own room. Wait, yep. what? Yeah, you guys can thank me later. Dang, all right. okay. okay. Let's go right. check in. Thanks, Drew. All right. All right, there we go. Perfect. Hi. Okay. It is nice and cozy in here. We actually all fit in here. Okay, I'm excited to see the room. This was like the only room available. Uh, uh, Drew. <laughs> Welcome to the spot, y'all. Drew. What? Are these capsules? 
Yeah. You got us a capsule hotel? Bro, you thought a normal room was gonna be $20? We all have our own capsule. I'm barely gonna fit. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. It's all they had. It was this or the street. You could have told us that we're gonna be sleeping in capsules. Bro, it's not my fault that Brandon's freaking 10 feet tall. Bro, uh, <laughs> what? Dude, you just want to book here because you actually fit in those. Listen, I'll fit in this. Because all that was, it was 20, but Brandon, stop. Yeah, he deserves Brandon. that. Yep, he deserves stop. that. <laughs> Why'd you do that? All right, so each person has their own pod and uh, Wait, who has these other ones? The other people that rent it. Strangers? <laughs> Not strangers, just roommates. Dude, this isn't even a hotel. <laughs> Brandon, have you ever slept in a capsule pod? No, never. <laughs> Look it, it's your first time, that's so exciting. I guess we'll find out if it's good enough for a nap or not. Let's see if Brendan fits in one, and then, you know, worst comes to worst. I guess there is no worst comes to worst because this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I leave Drew in charge. Why do we let him do this? I knew it's too good to be true. <laughs> hey. It's cool for us. I mean, Brendan's going to be miserable, but oh. <laughs> at Dude. least we'll it. What, what is the beef between you and Brendan? Yeah. I'm just jealous of Altolius. <laughs> if I could give you some of it, I would. <laughs> okay, so Brendan's going to see if he can fit in the pod. Boom. Oh, okay. There he is. Oh, oh my. Oh. Yeah, that's it. I'm in. So I guess it'll work for tonight. <laughs> Is it comfortable? It's kind of comfortable. Really? Yeah, if I was a sardine. All right. <laughs> All right. Just bro, his feet are out. That is not going to work. Oh my gosh, Drew. I don't know what to do with you, bro. Okay, guys, wait, real quick. Look at how big his freaking foot is. <laughs> Brendan, your, your foot is twice the size of Drew's head. <laughs> this obviously is not going to work, so we're going to have to find something else. Does anyone have any ideas? Oh my god. Yes. No! Uh, no! no. Listen to me once, No bro. one. Why? Cause. You guys can't stay at my boyfriend's apartment. He's going on a business trip. <laughs> you're, whoa. Oh, you're dumb. You're what? My boyfriend. I thought we had something. Okay, you know what? We're done. It's over. Dude, she's not your actual girlfriend. I don't care. We're breaking up. Uh, you have two hours left, though. You oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can you stick it out to the end. <laughs> I mean, it's only two hours. Okay. okay. Me. Everyone in the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Brendan? Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> Brendan! So since Drew can't do anything right, I got us a, actually it's her private driver. She has a private driver? Yeah, apparently her parents are loaded. <laughs> and luckily the private driver had a big enough van for Brendan to fit in. So this van works. Oh, this one works. This is the only car that would ever fit him. <laughs> we headed to the apartment and when we got there, we remembered why Tokyo is known as one of the tiniest cities. This is the apartment? Yeah, it's a little on the smallest side. <laughs> wow. I can touch both sides of the walls. <laughs> Guys, stop complaining. She's nice enough to let us stay here. You did good, babe. I'm surprised we all fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better than the capsule hotel. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We actually can stand up in this one. There's one bed. At the capsule hotel, we all had our own. At least they almost fit in the capsule. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have a bed here, little TV right here, desk to work at, fridge and microwave right here. Yeah, we have everything we need. This is the smallest stovetop I've ever seen. <laughs> this is me in the shower. Could you imagine, Brendan? <laughs> There's no way he would fit in this. Don't you my shoulders touch the walls? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a two story. I can see the second story. Oh my god. Yo, no way. How is it up there, Dom? Dude, it's huge. I think huge is a bit of a stretch in yeah. this situation. Oh my gosh, Drew, you're finally taller than Brendan. Yeah, what's up, Brendan? He's taller now. It's crazy. I'm literally all the way up here and I'm barely taller than him. <laughs> hey, how about this? If we can all fit on the bed, then we're going to stay here tonight. Okay, fair. That's right. like the dumbest idea oh ever. My goodness. Dom, that's okay, Drew. that's two. Okay, oh, that's three. Oh. Come on, babe. Um, guys, it's looking kind of small. Where's no. Brendan going? Hey, Brendan, you can sleep right here. No, I'm out, dude. <laughs> Brendan, come on, bro. We dude. got this for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not sleeping on the floor. <laughs> you can sleep across, like, on across us, like, like, like diagonal. I'm out. <laughs> you know what? Wait. No, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm going with Brendan. No, here. Here's you here. can take this. Brendan, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're gonna get some sushi here. Wait. Okay. See you guys soon. I don't think we can do this. I mean, we're all squeezed on one bed. What do you, we can make this work. Oh, really? You're crazy. <laughs> How? What is that? Um, uh, times all. $200. Times <laughs> oh. all? Does this mean that the whole rental girlfriend thing's over? Pretty much. Thank you. Go. Um, I was thinking maybe we could see each other again sometime. Um, sure. Really? If you pay. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually thinking it's more because I'm like, desperately in love with you. No, no, you're just desperate. Just desperate. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It was nice meeting you. Wait, did we just break up? Yeah. <laughs> what are we still doing in our boyfriend's apartment? We should probably just go. While we were still hotelless, we needed some food. So we found a sushi bar, but the restaurant was so small, it didn't even have enough room for chairs. Yo, it looks so small in there. Dude, he's not going to be able to fit. Drew, why would you take us here? Guys, okay, stop blaming it on me, all right? There's thousands of good sushi restaurants in Japan. I like this one. Why? Because it doesn't have chairs? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that is so messed up. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my god. He's not gonna fit. Oh Everyone in here is looking at us. Uh -huh. And after eating a literal mountain of sushi, we were in luck. Because the sushi chef said we could stay at his brother's house for the entire week. So we met up with his brother and he showed us to his apartment. This time, a little bigger than the last one, but it lacked one thing. Where's the bed? It's right in front of you. Uh, oh, we're gonna sleep on the ground? Yeah, on the ground. What? Why? <laughs> it's tradition. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh, that could be fun. At least Brennan will fit. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is asleep. Is this how we do it? We just go like this? <laughs> is it comfortable? No. <laughs> Let's not be negative, guys. This is this is great. Yeah, thank you so much for allowing us to stay in your home. Yeah. Yeah, of course. My brother said only good thing about you four. Oh, oh thank yeah. you. There's there's five of us though. No, not you, maybe. Not me. <laughs> I think this is great. I mean, it's definitely a lot more roomy than the capsule hotel oh, and yeah. the small apartment. This is the best one so far. Yeah. Okay, but what does Brandon think? I think I'm gonna take the capsule. Yes, the capsule. I think it's gonna be fun sleeping on the floor. We can all cuddle. Try. Well, what? What? Bro, you are so desperate. And Please lonely. cuddle with me, bro. Okay, can I, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What? I'm delusional. I need sleep. <laughs> we don't have pillows, so I need to use Dom as a pillow. You know? Oh wow. So you don't need to rent a new girlfriend now. <laughs> <laughs> After we got settled in, we decided to go to one of the smallest malls in all of Japan. And while we were there, we found some clothes that might fit Brendan. Brent! Yo, we found something. What'd you find? Okay, we don't know if it's gonna fit, but this is literally the largest size they have. Okay, what do you think? You think it's a fair now? Like no, it? definitely not. I love it, but it's not my size. <laughs> if you love it that much, I'll squeeze into it. Come I on. I just don't think we're gonna find your size here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> right. I just need to stop going shopping with Drew. <laughs> <laughs> and then we left the smallest mall to go straight to one of the most crowded places in the entire world. Right now, we are at the busiest crosswalk in the entire world. This is Shibuya <laughs> Square. Oh my god. Yeah. This is Everywhere. crazy. Dude, it's packed here. Oh my god. Wait, Brendan, can you take a video for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, this I could never get. Crowds don't even matter for him because he's like so much taller than everyone. <laughs> and cross. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're all like Brendan's little ducklings just following our mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Everybody loves a tall man. Are, are you flirting with him? Yeah, I got you. Everybody loves a tall man. Okay, Wait, what? Well, I'm tall. Yeah, you're tall for Drew. <laughs> okay, dude, I'm what? <laughs> what is happening here? I'm sick of being short. Wow, Drew, you're finally taller than I grew, who's yes. short now, huh? <laughs> I got a couple inches on him. What's it like to see stuff now? Oh my god, I can see everything. Dude, this height is crazy. Wow. This is how it feels. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally Brendan's bottom half right now. <laughs> okay, so somehow, I don't know how, we really? lost Brendan. How do we lose Brendan? Yeah, he's not lost, he's just not here right now. <laughs> how do we lose him? Well, let's look around. Oh Brendan, my god. Brendan! You can see him! Oh, you see him? Oh wait! <laughs> Whoa. Wait, Whoa. Even when you lose him, you find him so fast again. <laughs> Brennan's height is as large as his heart. He truly is one of the nicest dudes you'll ever meet. And with all the challenges he faces in life, he has made the most of every opportunity. Dude, it was awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. Aww. Did you enjoy it? It was awesome. And as a thank you to Brendan for inspiring us, we wanted to inspire him. I remember you telling me that you wanted to start a YouTube channel documenting cars, right? Document the builds and then also inspire other people. Follow their dreams. That's amazing. Aww. Brendan, you'll need a camera for that. So we have a camera for you. We also have a brand new iPhone Pro Max for you. Sweet. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. My newest favorite influencer. <laughs> Hi Brandon, see ya. Today, my best friend is marrying my little sister and I don't approve of it at all. And in order to show them that it's not meant to be, I'm gonna be throwing them a dream wedding and honeymoon followed by a bunch of couples challenges that will put their compatibility to the test. Dude, we're literally just friends. Friends? All right, well you say that, Mr. Davila, but there's a heaping pile of evidence stating otherwise. Explain this. Look at the love in your guys' eyes. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you guys are pretty adorable. Am I the only one that doesn't ship them? Yes, bro, look at we all ship them. Bro. <laughs> but aside from that, we think it's weird that you hang out with Brent's sister more than us. So that's the one wearing a shirt with my face on it. It's yeah. not that weird, that dude. kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> but Andrew still wasn't convinced. What's in it for me? 
Okay, well you get married to Lexi, I'll throw an extravagant wedding, a honeymoon suite, a butler, literally anything you want. You know, Lexi's gonna hate this idea though, right? And so, to make sure she doesn't, we had to prepare Andrew for the big proposal. Alright Andrew, just pretend that Drew's Lexi and act like you're gonna propose. Hi, Pookie. Oh. <laughs> Hell no. Alright, out. Dude, Andrew, lock in, bro. <laughs> We're trying to help you, alright? <laughs> hey, if you're gonna marry Lexi, you have to get this down. You what? Ready? Just what? Close your eyes. Bro, what? <laughs> bro, just do it! We're helping Andrew, you! Andrew, we're helping! I'm not gonna and after Drew tried and got rejected a few more times, we gave up on that idea and started brainstorming ways for Andrew to propose. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so what if we hide the ring inside Lexi's favorite ice cream flavor so when she takes a bite, she finds it? Oh, oh dude, Drew, that's genius. Wait, mint chocolate chip is her favorite ice cream. I hate that you know that. <laughs> and after a few more minutes, we planned out exactly how we were gonna do it. Yo, bro, she took a bite. Here it comes. Oh my god. Any Come second on. now. Come on. <laughs> what is this gonna happen? And bite after bite, there was no ring. And then this happened. Oh, wait, where's Andrew? Oh my god, oh my god, I think she ate the ring. What? How do you know that? Wait, if the ring was in the ice cream and she ate the ice cream, that probably means the ice cream's gone, which means the ring is gone too. Lexi's gone. What? Oh. Uh, hey Lexi, you're looking great. Shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> Not like you ate a diamond. That would, that would be expensive. <laughs> and dangerous. Alright, I'm confused. I'm confused. Um, I'm Drew. Uh, boy, should we go? Yeah. 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 Bye Lexi. Bye. And since that didn't work, it was time for us to move on to our next plan. Okay, so behind this curtain is something so magical that Lexi has to say yes. Bro, you got her a unicorn? <laughs> no, bro. Alright, anyways, behold! What? A horse and carriage. <laughs> Wait, where did you get this? My cousin Rocco. Yeah. Right, you wear this. Trust me, it's part of the theme and girls love theme. What? <laughs> let's get this going. All right, let's go. How you feeling, Andrew? I'm a little nervous. And also the fact that I'm dressed as a Disney prince isn't really helping. <laughs> all right, off to Lexi's house. Tell you all. Wait, Woo. wait for me, guys. All right, you ready? What is going on? All right, come outside. Here we go. What is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Mr. Andrew Davila has a message for thou. <laughs> what exactly Andrew? is this? Since the day I met you, Lexi, oh god, I you knew wearing? you were the one. Oh. Your eyes are like <laughs> the sun shining down like rain. All right, all right, Andrew, just get, just get on with it, bro. Okay, um, will you? Marry me. Absolutely not. Let him finish! <laughs> Would you marry me for 24 hours? What is the point of this? Brent doesn't think you guys could survive being married for 24 hours, so. Oh. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, I don't think you guys can survive. I don't think I can either if he's gonna wear this. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> what? What's in it for us besides a wedding and whatever else you have planned? If you guys survive the full 24 hours, then I'll admit Andrew was meant to be, and um, I will pay for a dream vacation for just you two. You hear that? What, like Hawaii? Sure, I guess, Hawaii. Alright. You down? I guess. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. I never thought I'd see this. Will you marry me for 24 hours? Wow. Yes, I do. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I want to get married next. Andrew, your sister's still single, right? What, now we can't like each other's sisters? <laughs> uh... <laughs> and now that Lexi said yes, the only thing left to do is set up the wedding. Whoa, this place is sick, dude. I want to get married here. Bro, you'll need to find a girlfriend first. Oh, that's what you're taking care of. Meet my twin <laughs> Dude, dude, don't call them Bro, No, it's cool. Uh... They, don't, they don't speak English. What? They don't need to speak English, bro. Spanish is the language of love. <laughs> yep, I think you're very pretty, too. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, we're oh. still doing the final touches. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, oh. chocolate fountain spot. No, other left. See? Yep, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. I'm doing pretty good at this, all right? Oh. Except for that, I'm gonna go fix that. But, what's <laughs> <laughs> move? Literally, as he said, everything is perfect. Wow, so this is where the big kiss is gonna happen, huh? Alright, no, 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 no. What? Bro, it's a wedding tradition. Dude, it's not a real wedding. Yeah. Okay, well, when they say kiss the bride, we're gonna press this red button. What does the button do? Alright, uh, pr press it. Okay. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. That was the wrong button. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry. This is the button that Wait, we were supposed to press. What? Who was that guy? I am not pressing that. You press it. All right, fine. I'll press the button. Ready? All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, Whoa! What the hell? Oh my god! Yo. If this isn't romantic, I don't know what is. Oh my god! This is so good! I honestly 
actually like the other button better, but it works. <laughs> There's actually gonna be sparks flying when they kiss. Okay, are, you, are we sure this is safe? <laughs> and now that we're done setting up the wedding, a few of our guests started showing up. Yo, Ben! Yo! What are you wearing? Oh, I'm here to officiate the wedding. I heard my ex-girlfriend was getting married to Andrew, so I'm here to do just that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Brett, you know what I just realized? That after this, I'm gonna be your brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might be needing this. I think I will need this. Yeah. <laughs> we have gathered here today to celebrate these two lovers. My ex-girlfriend Lexi and my good friend Andrew. Andrew, I promise to always laugh at your jokes even when they're not funny. Which is like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I actually wrote a poem for you, Lexi. A poem? Wait, you couldn't memorize the poem? You no, have to have no, no way. Lexi, you're like really hot and I like you a lot. I'm so happy we could connect the dots and live our lives happily like some tater tots. <laughs> like some tater tots? Yeah, from really? Sonic. Drew, are you crying? That was so good. <laughs> okay, anyways, before the ceremony, are there any objections to these two getting married besides the obvious reasons? I object. <gasps> good. Now tell us why. I'm in love. The second I laid my eyes on you, I just knew. Okay, I've told you this so many times, it's not gonna work. No, not you, Lexi. Andrew. <gasps> <laughs> wait, 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 what's going on here? Break this up, lobsters! Oh wait, this guy's trying to ruin the wedding. What's going on? Get him out! What the hell? Woo, All right, continue, continue. Anyways, <laughs> Andrew, do you take Alexa Brooke Rivera? Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> Lexi, do you take Andrew David? I do. Okay. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you husband and wife for the next 24 hours, and you can kiss. And I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> Let's party! Yeah! 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 And after a few minutes of dancing and whatever you want to call this, it was time for our biggest surprise yet. Hey, baby! <laughs> Alright guys, everyone, we have a very special guest that wants to congratulate the bride and groom. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, is it Andrew's hot sister? Oh, wh why? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, he should be here. Apparently he's a huge fan of Landry. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Here he is. Oh. Hey, Brett. Hey, what's, up? what's going on, bro? How's it going? Hey. Nice to meet you. Oh. Okay. Guys, guys, it's okay. He's with Brett. Drew, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, guys, everyone, gather around. We have a very special guest. You guys ready to meet him? Yeah. yeah. All right, come on out. Oh oh my God. God. Obama. I had to come by and congratulate Landrew on taking this big step and for sealing the deal. Oh my gosh, uh, Obama, I love you, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. You crush me, you crush me. Toast to the bride and groom, Andrew and Lexi. Oh, oh my God. Bro, Drew. What are you doing? It's a champagne tower. Put I'm this guy in charge of the wedding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Brent. <laughs> I hope this yes. marriage lasts 24 hours so we can prove Brent wrong. Yeah. All right. yeah. It is time for the cutting of the cake. Yeah. yeah. It looks like Brian's already eating the cake. Bro. Oh. Dude. In my defense, I was really hungry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we don't have a cake, but give it up for DJ Obama. America, yeah. let's turn up. Yeah. Yeah. And after partying it up for a while, it was time to say goodbye to Obama. We had such an amazing time, but I'm sorry, we gotta head out. You're leaving already? Well, you know, we got this whole alien invasion. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said too much. I knew it. <laughs> what? I knew aliens were real. <laughs> well, how about this? I'll tell you if aliens are real, if this video gets 300,000 likes. Like the video. <laughs> like the video. Guys, aliens like the video. are real. All right, bye, Obama. How is this happening? What is, what is going on? All right, let's go uh, get Andrew and Lexi and surprise them with their new ride. Let's go. <laughs> All right, love. Birds. We'll see you at the honeymoon suite. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 So fast. And after an hour long drive along the beach, they made it to their hotel with an ocean view. I just don't get why we're doing nice things for them. We have to make these 24 hours hard, Dom, not okay, easy. No, I know, I know. Trust me, tomorrow will be super hard, but for now, I mean, they just got married. I actually haven't seen it yet, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I am so scared right now. All right, come on in. Oh, what? Yeah, my yo, God. This is insane. Why are we going all out? Oh, What's up, lovers? What? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I did not know he was gonna do that. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what? 
Why does it say Lexi's bed? I'm not gonna lie, Brent requested that you guys sleep in different rooms, so what? your room is gonna be in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine with me. This marriage is not starting out very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna head out. You two have some fun because tomorrow the challenges start and that's where we're gonna really make it hard for you guys. Yep. What challenges? Yeah, oh. what do you mean challenges? Challenges as a married couple. Isn't this a challenge enough? Oh, Ooh. if you think this is a challenge, just wait for tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Drew, what are you still doing here? Bro, get out. I'm making sure you guys aren't on your funny business, if you know what I mean. Don't make me call your mom. I no, guess. no, no, no. Don't call my mom. She thinks I have ligma. What's oh, no. Ligma, ligma balls. Oh, sorry. Bye, guys. Wow. You can't fall for that. But the next morning, this marriage was about to get serious. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, yo, look who's back from the honeymoon suite. Good morning. How'd you guys sleep? Great. Good. Pretty good. Well, you better have slept good because today the challenges start. And it's going to get really, really hard. What kind of challenges? Well, I'm glad you asked because you guys are officially pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, so we have this big pregnant belly, and uh, you're just gonna have to throw this on. <laughs> What's cool about this pregnancy belly is that it actually simulates what it feels like to be pregnant, because Drew has a remote here. All right, ready? The baby's about to kick in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, so now. Turn it off. Why doesn't Andrew have to do this? Um, dealing with you while you're pregnant is gonna be enough of a challenge for Andrew. <laughs> All right, in front of you are some of the weirdest pregnancy craving foods, and today, Lexi and Andrew are gonna try them. Yeah. yeah. Donuts with cheeseburgers? <laughs> we got donut burgers, we got fruit roll up wrapped hot dogs, and we have chocolate pickles. And these are actually like real pregnancy cravings. I hope you guys are hungry. We're not, especially after seeing this. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh my god. Mm. I feel like it's good. Is it good? Andrew, what do you think? That's actually not bad. Really? <laughs> All this right. guy is Lexi, what about you? No? Well, Lexi, you're gonna like this next one. We have fruit roll up wrapped hot dogs. Oh my gosh. Crazy gobbler. Doesn't that just look delicious? No, bro. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> How is it? Horrible. <laughs> so bad. Really? Last one. Here we go. Here we go. This one might be the easiest though. So here we have a chocolate filled pickle. Three, two, one. Oh my god. That is the weirdest combination. That's not bad. I don't hate it. What? <laughs> what? It's this not one bad. This is my favorite. Honestly, <laughs> these two weren't that bad. That one could just get the f out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lexi, your water's about to break. No. Oh, three, no. two, no. one. Oh my god. What do we do? Oh my god. Call 911. What's the number to 911? Where Hurry. are you? <laughs> I don't know what to do. You do something. I'm not the one having the baby. Oh my god. Oh. It's their first argument. Help me. <laughs> She's going into labor. <laughs> yep, her water broke. We're gonna need uh, we're gonna need the ambulance. Alright, Lexi, stay calm. Stay calm. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so Has it on max. Guys, I don't know how to turn it on. Andrew, make sure she's okay. Well, that's not my baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a push. I feel like she's having an actual push. baby right now. <laughs> I'm trying! Oh, oh, Wait, what the hell was that? Huh? Oh my god! Did bro, you just what fart? No, 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 stop. Why would you do oh, that? Oh, I, I, you guys said push. Anyway. Oh, I see the head! Push! Ah! Push! Oh, I see. Oh. 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 oh! oh my god! There you go. Oh. Oh. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy! Oh. Yeah! You know what? That actually wasn't that bad. Bro. Oh, really? <laughs> you weren't the one doing it. All right, well, Lexi and Andrew, now that you guys have the baby, it's time for you guys to take care of the baby. Oh, my God. I'm out. Bro, what? <laughs> All right, so now that you have a new member of your family, you have to take care of this baby for the remaining three hours of the challenge. That should Easy. be that should be simple, honestly. Yeah. Well, uh, that's not the baby. Oh, we'll get rid of we that. we didn't tell you, but uh, we have a real baby. This oh. is the baby you'll be taking care of. <laughs> oh, no. um, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot harder than that big baby. Oh my gosh, it's okay. Well, ask him what he needs, Lexi. What do you want? I don't think he uh, talks <laughs> yet. <laughs> you get some Doritos. Wait, what? You can't oh. feed a baby Doritos. Oh. Why not? Chick fil A. <laughs> you are so bad at this. <laughs> They're not gonna survive. They're not making it. Uh, mm. Oh. Mm. 
Mm. Lexi, come on, do a better job. He's giving it a taste test. Uh, he seems to like it. Let's show the baby how to do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you're, you're being just as difficult oh. as the baby. Mmm. <laughs> uh, mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He just had some. All right, I say we make things a little bit harder. How could it get harder than yeah. this? Well, I think the baby might need a diaper change. Oh, no, that's you. Uh, it's that's on literally you. you. No. Oh, yeah, no, I, I smell that. He yeah, definitely needs to be changed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So, we know you just pooped. Lexi, have you ever changed a diaper before? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Yeah. Andrew, what about you? No, never. <laughs> okay. This, this is, is gonna go. This is gonna go well. For everything. <laughs> but they right. literally have no idea what they're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby's getting changed. He's really putting in the work, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know. He's they're being pretty good parents. Diaper. Right? Why does it smell so bad? <laughs> <laughs> His diaper's off. All right. Oh, God. Wait, let me put it up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ew, why are you showing us? Ew. Ew! No, no. Ah! <laughs> Look at he didn't cry once. Yeah. Wow. You guys did pretty good, besides the fact that you almost threw the poop on me. <laughs> okay. Right. You know what? Now that you changed the baby's diaper, I think the baby needs a little bit of a nap. You ready to get some rest? He's ready. Yeah, He's ready. He We're ready. Gonna yeah, he looks ready. <laughs> if I know one thing, the hardest thing about having a baby is putting it to sleep. Well, we are professionals at this. Yeah, we are. So. Right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All you gotta do is put him to sleep. It's that easy, right? You're making him cry. I mean, you do something. You realize that if he falls asleep, then you have to still take him off, and then he's gonna wake up again. Okay, it looks like they're having a little bit of a hard time now. Yeah, yeah. I do not see Hawaii in their future. Uh, neither do I. <laughs> he's not this gonna baby's go to sleep. not tired. He's not gonna go to sleep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be downstairs eating a snack. We'll see you guys later. See ya. Hey, uh, best of luck, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Would not want to be you right now. Wait, you got the baby to sleep? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so surprised. Oh my god. Okay, all right. We just gave it Chick fil A and it fell asleep. Oh my <laughs> god. Is it 24 hours up yet? Technically, you guys have one more hour, so I have one last challenge for you guys before we finish. What is it? So, marriage is all about being honest. So, for this challenge, you two will be hooked up to a lie detector test. Are you what? serious? What? Yep. And if you guys do not tell the truth, then you don't go to Hawaii. So, you're changing the rules? Yeah, pretty much. It's my video, so I can do what I want. <laughs> no, you can't, bro. We wanted to see him go to Hawaii. Wait. Dom, where did you get that shirt? Oh, Drew gave it to me. What? Yeah, dude, I even gave John one. John! <laughs> You're the only one that's not Team Landry. Yeah, man. we're all Team Landry. Alright, alright, you know what? Let's just get to the hard questions. You guys better be ready because these are some juicy ones. Alright, Lexi, do you think Andrew is funny? I think he thinks he's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Andrew, it's your turn. What is the most annoying thing about Lexi? Probably your laugh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, have you ever gone through Lexi's phone? That's good. No. That's true. Oh. <laughs> Just kiss already. Come on. <laughs> I have the next question. Lexi, do you ever see yourself marrying Andrew for real? Oh um, my. No. See? I told Wait, you guys. Hold on, hold on. It's a lie. Oh, oh, what? 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 No, this is this is rigged. This is as real as it gets. It's a lie detector. He's literally wearing a Landrew shirt. Okay, wait. Real question is, are they going to Hawaii or not? Since she lied. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, if they sign the divorce papers, then sure they can go to Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii! Doesn't mean they can't get back together. That's true. <laughs> what? Oh, it's official. They're wow. divorced. Woo! All right. Well, the divorce papers are signed, which means that you guys get to go to Hawaii for your honeymoon. Okay. Yay! Only if this video gets 250,000 likes. Bro, what? what? Yep. All right, then like it. The hell? Like the video now. Oh yeah. God, you really want this. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you do too. All right. I want, it. I want you guys going to Hawaii. All right, guys. Adios, amigos. So we're in Tokyo, Japan, and for the next 100 hours, we're gonna be forced to stay in some of the most unique capsule hotels Japan has to offer. Let's do it. From robots that check you in, to capsules that watch your sleep patterns, there's even a sleeping pod that's hidden in a library. Okay, so what is a capsule hotel room? Basically, it's a really tiny hotel room that consists of just a bed and other weird things that you wouldn't find in a normal hotel room. And we're supposed to spend 100 hours in it. 
Yeah. Dude, what? <laughs> and most of them are a lot cheaper than normal hotel rooms, starting at just $9. Do I have to go with you? Yes, Drew. Why? I don't because... want to do it. Yeah, and if you guys survive the full 100 hours in the capsule hotels, I will surprise you with the coolest hotel in Japan. See? Okay. There's a reason to do this. It was hour one, so Pearson and I dragged Drew out of the normal hotel, and it was time for us to check into our first capsule hotel. Oh my. What? Oh my what? god. What? I'm honestly actually kind of excited. <gasps> Holy crap. This looks like something out of like of spaceship. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> right? Where is everyone? We actually got here before check-in, so no one has checked in yet. Only us. So we're not gonna be alone. No, eventually people are gonna come in here and fill up all of these pods, and we're gonna have some new roommates, Drew. <laughs> you ready to see our pod? Our pod. We don't get our own pods? They were sold out. They only had one. Bro, we have to share? This is great. This wow, is nice. Wow, this is roomy. So this Real is where we're spending our first night. It literally smells like dirty socks, Drew. Bro, th those are yours. I have something to tell you. We actually have our own pods. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to cuddle. Oh, God. Oh, well, Pearson, you can always stay with no, me. No, that's okay. Don't, don't give me those eyes. Really? So when we checked in, they gave us a bag full of amenities. So let's see what's inside. Slippers. Slippers. Towel. We have some uh, PJs, mm. toothbrush. After exploring more, each capsule comes with a reading light, a USB, a concave shelf for your phone, maybe, and that's basically it. Dude, this is the bathroom. Dude, Holy! This looks like, a, like this is huge. This is absolutely insane. Dude, I'm gonna take a shower. Oh. Dude, he's gonna oh, take what? a shower right now. <laughs> Not. Oh. oh. The... <laughs> there was someone in the bedroom. I forgot that there's other people here. Dude, they have everything. Look, they have like little Japanese candles. No, I wouldn't eat that. That's so. That's... Yeah, that's so. <laughs> oh, how's your capsule? It's good. What is this? Oh, that's why this is called the sleep lab. It analyzes your sleep, and it's a thermographic camera, so it basically senses like how loud you snore, you toss and turn at night. Yeah, it's always watching. It can see me. Yeah. So, dude, I sleep naked. <laughs> Wait, what am I gonna do? It's gonna see everything. So before we get some sleep, we met up with the gang and decided to get dinner at a robot cafe, where the robots literally serve you food and entertain you while you eat. Yo, yo, yo! What's going on? <laughs> what? How's the time um, capsule? It's, it's good so far. It's Could be worse. Capsule. Basically, I made reservations at this robot cafe. You get served by robots and they also like entertain you, I guess. So. I think you just did that so that you could leave your capsule. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Pepper. It's nice to meet you. Pepper. Dude, this is not real. This robot is going to be our waiter at this restaurant. What? Literally how? <laughs> Brent over here has a peanut allergy. Is that something that is cause for concern? Peanut allergy is a serious concern oh. and should be taken into consideration. You're in safe hands, Brent. This robot talks better than all of us. <laughs> so basically, while we wait for for our food, the waiter can do a bunch of things. You can have her dance, play video games. I want to see dance. her dance. Baby. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> our food's coming right oh. now. Look. That's not our food. Shut up. Oh my god. We just grab it? Yeah, we just oh. grab it. There we go. Yeah. This is so futuristic. Yeah, Bye. It was leave. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so, what do you say? We share the capsule? It's so small. There's no airflow in here. <laughs> I'll stay with you, Brent. Drew, I don't want you to stay with me. Dude, you just said that. No, I said I want Pearson to stay with me. <laughs> so Pearson left Drew and I to sleep for the night, and I slept fairly well, but I don't think Drew could say the same. Drew, I didn't sleep at all. You were watching me the whole time. No. No, I swear. Like, the thing, like, there was, like, a red little blinking light. <gasps> They were recording. No, they were. We were 20 hours into the challenge, and once we hit a full 100 hours in all capsule hotels, my friends have surprised me with one of the craziest, most insane hotel rooms in Tokyo. But for now, it was time to pack our stuff and head to the next capsule. Along the way, we made a pit stop at a Japanese convenience store, and this store has literally everything. This is like an ice cream cone ready to go. Just to go. They're known for their extremely good food and snacks. So believe it or not, they sell gyozas at the 7-Eleven. Pork fried rice, but there's also shrimp in here too. This is really good actually. Full bun sushi from 7-Eleven, so let's hope I don't get I'm a little sick. scared. <laughs> With some soy sauce? Like, this would be far. Japanese candy. These Yo. ones I'm excited for. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's insane. These are sandwiches. Dessert sandwiches? I have a strawberry sandwich. You have a peach, mango, mandarin sandwich. It's good, but I don't love it. It was time to check into our next capsule. This one is literally disguised as a library. All right, so we just arrived at our next capsule hotel. Why are we at the library? So this isn't the library. This is where we'll be sleeping tonight, but you can also read books here and drink coffee. It's basically like a cafe and a capsule hotel in one. That's be like the weirdest thing I've ever been to. I know, isn't it really weird? So where are we gonna be sleeping? So the beds are hidden within the bookshelves. Huh? What? You wanna come see? 
Yeah. All right, let's go. This place was so cool. The beds were literally in the bookshelves, and there was even a disco ball in the corner of the room where Drew and I had a little dance party. All right, so you probably can't see me right now, but I'm currently in the bookshelf. This is our bed for tonight. I don't get my own room. I forgot to tell you, Drew, uh, we're sharing this room. This only has room for one person. Oh, come on, it's pretty roomy in here. Let me show you inside. All right, so we are inside the bookshelf. This is our room for today. Dude, this looks more like a human-sized coffin. I feel like it's kind of cozy, though. It, it is cozy. Yeah. Let's give you guys a little room tour. Let's do it. Okay, so it comes with a pillow and a sheet. You also get a couple hangers, I guess, to like hang clothes up. You could like mess with the lighting so you could turn it down or up. With the room, you also get a safe. You have expensive belongings. I guess you'll be good. So now that we fully checked in, I say we go outside and get some fresh air. Dude, yeah, we've been stuck in a box for 30 hours. I think that's the best decision. <laughs> so we decided to explore a little more of the city before going to bed. Basically, at this restaurant, you fish for your food. There's a big, huge pond full of fish, and what you catch is what you eat. Do we have to eat it? Yeah. Wait. Do we have to catch it? <laughs> Can I catch a big mess? <laughs> <laughs> this one's huge. Oh, no, it's it's huge. Look at that. Before we checked into the first class of capsule hotels, we had a couple hours to spare, so we met up with the gang. All right, so we just got to a cafe, but this is no ordinary cafe. This is a pig cafe. There's a bunch of little pigs in here, and you get to play with them while you eat and drink coffee. Oh no God, way. Yeah. There's just a what? bunch of little Andrews running around. Oh. oh. oh I might look like one, but you guys what smell like one. <laughs> this has to be like the greatest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, Pearson! Oh. Gosh. Dude, are they falling asleep on me right now? I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they all on Pearson? I don't know! Wait, this one's biting my freaking... <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but Pearson ate bacon this morning. No, yeah, she did! No, I didn't! She did. No, I didn't! No, That's I didn't! Why. Oh my god, is that a donut? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Pearson, this is literally the cutest thing ever. Dude, what? <laughs> How is it gonna have bacon on the menu? Drew! Bro, like, maybe, like, pick a pig and then, like... Oh, <laughs> Oh I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That's a grilled cheese? How does it taste, Lexi? Oh it tastes like, like grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Oh what? my god. So this is a rainbow corn dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What? what? How? <laughs> Lexi, where'd you get that? I don't even know. Someone just handed it to me. <laughs> Let's go. So here we have a 10 yen coin. And here we have a 10 yen coin too. It's a waffle with mozzarella cheese in it. Oh. It's amazing. Oh, that's good. It was really good. After another fun day, it was time to check out our capsule hotel for tonight. And this is one of the best. All right, so we're 65 hours in and we're here at our last capsule hotel. Let's get this over with. Apparently, this is supposed to be one of the nicest, most luxurious capsule pods they have in Tokyo and also one of the biggest. They're just like unlimited beer or what? <laughs> this is the best capsule yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's my fourth one. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what? Finally, one that could actually fit two people. Oh, Oh my god! This one's roomy compared to like the other one. Oh my god! Yeah. Bro, literally, look at this, like so cool. By far, Drew, this is the best one yet. After the book and bed, I mean like we need something like better and this is it. This is the bathroom? Wait, what? Oh my god! Okay, so basically each room comes with a nice little mirror so you can uh, check yourself out. Also, each room comes with a mini tablet where you can control a bunch of things in the room. So if you want your bed to go down, you just press this button. What? So it can go all the way down. You can also revert it to... Now, it's a couch. Check that out. Unlike our other pod, this one comes with a bunch of outlets. Check this out. You have four different outlets. And something that's in none of the capsule hotels that we've been in so far. Air conditioning. See, this is necessary. It comes with air conditioning. There's also an alarm system, so when you need to wake up, you can literally have your bed raised, so and it, that's the alarm. It'll, like, sit you up. It will sit you up. Okay, see, that's it. That's cool. All right, so this is by far one of the coolest things about this capsule. Apparently, there's something called a robot butler. So what does it do exactly? Dude, this is crazy. I, I, I ordered it. I don't know. Hello, my name is Shut Andy. Shut up. Robot butler. What? 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 I get for you, Drew? So, wait, Drew, it knows my name? 
Wow. Let's do gummy bears and uh, some cheese balls. And some popcorn, why and not? Some popcorn. popcorn. Coming right up. <gasps> Bro, my God. He just walks away. <laughs> See ya. What the hell? Bye. Literally has the snacks. What? No way. Yeah, Wait, what the hell? Bro, and the these are so good. Yo, this is insane. And the freaking popcorn. Bruh, this is the best capsule hotel yet. All right, so it's getting pretty late, but this is a cool feature about this capsule that we just found out about. This shade acts as a projector. This is insane. Wait, that's crazy. Okay. They like took the extra step to make this a freaking projector. Dude, this is insane. All right, so guys, this is our final night in the capsule hotels. We're almost there, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Yo, shut up. I'm trying to go to bed. Yo, Drew. Stop. So we finally reached the 100 hour mark, which meant it was all worth it. We were about to be surprised with one of the coolest hotel rooms in Tokyo. How much did this hotel room cost? God, a lot. Honestly, at this point, I'm just excited for anything. Yeah. Welcome to your lovely new home. Okay. Welcome. What the <laughs> There's a carousel in the middle of the hotel room. <laughs> Look at these massive candies on this wall. What the heck? This is in our hotel room? I said, wait till you see the bathtub. Wait, what? What's going on the bathtub? What? It's chocolate. It's a chocolate bath? Yeah. <laughs> we can shower in freaking chocolate. If this video gets 550,000 likes, then Lexi and Andrew have to stay in all capsule hotels no. for 100 hours. No. What? No, 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 yep. no, no. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Why not? <laughs> he wants to. This week's shout out goes to Sarah, and we'll see you guys next week. Adios, amigos. I'm gonna have nightmares from this, guys. <laughs>